and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some teamer extinction. Hawkeye just wants to get up on the table, put him back down here. But yeah, so we're playing a, this is teamer elementals that has star of extinction at the top end. And when you first just like think, you know, if you just first think about it, you're like, wait, you're just, we're just playing like mana creatures and then, you know, ramping up into good mid-range creatures. And then our goal is just to blow up the board. That doesn't seem like something we want to be doing, but it actually plays really well because of Risen Reef and Cavalier Thorns. These cards get you a lot more lands in play than like what your opponents have. And since since we're not um we're not interacting with our opponent like basically besides that like while we're ramping up and doing this stuff they're also playing their own creatures and their own planeswalkers and everything like that and so they're uh <clears throat> you know extending onto the board as well and so you know all we had to do is you know do a, a nice star of extinction blow up the board we probably have extra cards because risen reef gets us the extra extra cards in hand and so does Krasis and everything. So we probably have more cards than our opponent. Plus, we destroy one of their lands and completely reset. And then we get to rebuild faster than what they can. We can either uh, win normally by just attacking in the air with Cavalier of Gales. Or, of course, large Omnaths and Cavalier of Thorns and Krasis in the air as well. Or we also have our backup win condition of a couple of Jace uh, to go with these Tamios. Um, Tamiya does a good job of, you know, rebuying Star of Extinction as well and everything like that. Um, we're also trying a River's Rebuke in here where if, if, you know, we're putting a bunch of stuff out on the battlefield, our opponents put a bunch of stuff out of the battlefield, we can just bounce all of their things and then get a really nice attack in and then they'll, they'll be scrambling to try to rebuild and, uh, we can press our advantage there. Um, so that's what our deck's all about. Yeah, this is, this is a, a longer uh deck you know we're playing for the late game for sure and both rivers rebuke and star of extinction are really good against the field of the dead decks you know like if they they escape shift to put a ton of zombies into play well you just just bounce them you know like they're tokens they're gone you know we can blow up field of the dead and reset and then we re hopefully rebuild faster still even with that being said we got four blood suns also you know like we're trying to win late games aggro decks are going to be where we're going to struggle a little more we got a couple shiv and fires for fast removal in here and also a couple melodies that can steal Adanto Vanguard or Knight of the Ebon Legion and things like that. So we got those, but um, we're trying to win the longer games. I'm going to Stainful Stroke instead of Negate. <clears throat> Been really liking Disdainful Stroke right now. Um, you really want like Negate against like Nexus, but honestly, Disdainful Stroke is basically just as good. Yeah, you, know, you want to counter Wilderness Reclamation and Tamio and Nexus. But then also against like these Golos decks, you can counter Golos or Agent of Treachery or, you know, Circuitous Route or big a big Krasis or anything. You know, like, I feel like Disdainful Stroke has uh, been pretty good, uh, you know, against the Yurok and Cavalier of Thorns decks. You know, counter those and so on. So that's what our deck's all about. Let's go ahead and play a league. We got four donation decks today. Um, I don't... I don't I don't care Matthew. Do you want me to do you want me to play your deck ranked? Um built around extinction like with Primal Amulet, Blood Sun, Lotus Field. Uh Primal Amulet, Blood Sun don't really work together. Okay, play this one in ranked. Okay. All right, we'll play it in ranked. Um yeah, Primal Amulet, Blood Sun don't really work together. Uh, you would flip over for another land, but you wouldn't be able to have that extra ability. Okay. We have a slower hand, but thankfully our opponent molded to five. That's certainly good for us with our slower hand. But it's it's hard to mulligan Risen Reef. So as y'all know from Elemental decks, Risen Reef is just kind of the best card. Of 
Well, this is definitely not a matchup I want to see. Aggressive flyers. Um... So going with Jace here to start drawing cards where we can go Risen Reef plus Leaf Kindrua the next turn. Don't test me. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. All right, well, I'm just gonna get this big flyer out there. So this is a good time to Rivers Rebuke. Well, I guess uh, they have the st they have the Storm Tamer, so Storm Tamer does get to c counter Rivers Rebuke. Um, we'll get this started. It's a matter of give and take. Pay fair amount. Yeah, so Rivers Rebuke does say uh, return all non land permits target player controls. So you have to target a player. And uh, Storm Tamer counters a spell that targets you or a creature. Hmm. Well, this isn't looking so good. This will come in handy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does this thing have first strike? No. Oh, right. Leafkin adds two. I feel like I should keep both Tamios. Which means I'd get rid of another land. Yeah, Omnath, Omnath could not kill Storm Tamer, it's indestructible. They should not be attacking with Safara. All the rest of them can attack. It's it's just free. They're all indestructible. Like they're actually just attacking with the wrong creature. They they have to have another Safara. Yeah, it's got to be another Safara. I'll throw Megan that attack. Yep. There's always an answer.
I guess we could use another land. Make an excellent informant for my study. I follow the tracks of the. We could go either. Yeah, they were tapped out, so we could have gone either way with like rebuke or star of extinction. But I kind of, I really felt like they had nothing if I star of extinctioned. And we see why star of extinction is good. Let me aid your research. I haven't really checked my graveyard to see if we have more risen reefs. But we're doing just fine. Figure a way out of this. Let's try this. If they, for some reason, get rid of my Jace and I don't get a Jace win, that that'll be kind of bad because that's what I'm basically been going for. Is a Jace win. Like, how many Risen Reefs do we actually have over here? One, two. Just two. Yeah, I didn't think we had very many. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going double cavalier here. Uh, I really don't care if we get anything. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. What's a cool name? Walk the plank. That's a good one. All right, we got the first game. The hidden name of the deck is card advantage deck. So they, they milled a five and missed a second land drop. It certainly helped us. Um, we do have good blockers for flyers with the Cavalier of Gales, Cavalier of Thorns, and Hydra Crisis. So we can block flyers pretty well. I'm kind of thinking I shouldn't play Rose Rebuke because of <clears throat> um, because of Storm Tamer. They never saw Rebuke though, because yeah, we're playing Shiv and Fire instead of Shock because Shiv and Fire can do four damage at times. Also, you know, it's a Shock, but also can do four damage. The Shock doing damage to the opponent isn't isn't important in these these games. I'd rather my Shiv and Fire be able to kill, you know, a, a Tempest Jin or, I don't know, whatever four toughness stuff there is. Um, a Champion of, of Dusk. I guess is a little bit more relevant right now. So our deck felt kind of good. I don't think I really want Melody. Yeah, Feather. There you go. Go one Jace. Does help out, you know, when you get to just draw so many cards every turn. Hey, what's up, Dons? 3.30 a.m. there. It's 3.30 p.m. here. And I'm still awake as well. It'll be tough to steal Safara. we got to have nine mana to steal Safara. So that'll be tough to be alive. Have nine mana them have a safari and play uh, us not be dead won't be the easiest thing probably gonna have the flash creature too I hope not good Good. Time to start dropping big five drops. We'll see what they have counter magic wise. So they could have like Ether Gust. So Disdainful Stroke counters either. Ether Gust doesn't get rid of Cavalier Gales. 
So I kind of want to go with Cavalier of Gales, even though like Thorns is Thorns. Technically, if if they had no counter spell, Thorns would be better to play because of the ramping ability. But I'm kind of feeling Ether Gust. Okay, so it's disdainful stroke. It counters either. I don't really want them to flash in a creature, kill my Risen Reef. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to take that trade. Probably not. All right, so I didn't really bring in Ve I didn't bring in Veil of Summers. But they have another counter spell here. That will definitely change. All right, that's going to change. Well, I guess it's the game's not over. Is it? 7 8 9 10 11. Nope, we just got a top deck star of extinction. All right, so we can play Veil of Summers. For game three. What are we going to board out for Veil of Summers? I know the Tamiyo looked really bad. Take out Paradise Druid. I mean, am I supposed to just take out Risen Reefs? No, we can't really take out Risen Reefs. I mean, I could take out the Jace Tamiyo stuff and just try to kill them straight up. I'll just take out the Tamios. We'll keep the one Jace in there. What, Hawkeye? What? Ugh, these hands. We're a 26 land deck. So a two lander, then a, a one lander. Really rough. Match started with my opponent mulling to five, so I guess it's somewhat fair that we're mulling to five. We have a lot of five drops. So I think I need to hope that we draw another one. Because we need, we need lands to set up. I mean, I guess I keep that over Veil of Summer. I don't know. It's one of those two. I guess we just keep the five drop over Veil of Summer. And if they counter it, they counter it, I guess. Yeah, Hawkeye's the best kitty. All right, good news. We get to go with Cavalier next turn. Okay, they tapped out. Good. Yuck. So I want to do the Cavalier trigger first so we can make sure to put a land back on top to to put into play off of Risen Reef. So I can do 5-5 five, five Krasis right now or I wait a turn and it's 7-7 seven, seven Krasis. I think we might as well wait a turn. They didn't they didn't play anything. It kind of smells like counter spell and I don't I don't have anything else. Might as well draw an extra card. 
Zathan, thanks for continuing your gifted sub. Oh, those creatures are so big. Yeah, it definitely feels like Disdainful Stroke here. So, I guess we have... If I go six, then if we draw Llanowar off, I can play Llanowar off. If I go seven, we don't get to do that. We'll just go seven. Well, I should eat the, the Disdainful Stroke. Oh, wow. Ether Gust? Thank you. Wow, that's a good trade for us. We get that Krasis right back. Hey, what's up, Storm? Rad the Reptile, Bone Player. What's up, everybody? Hmm. We have two elementals in play right now. So this would be third elemental. And then Shiv and Fire to kill something. Or I go Cavalier of Gales first. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one. No, don't tap all this red. There we go. All right, well, we're looking good right now. Oh, uh, you're currently enjoying a gyro pizza with hollandaise sauce. That does sound amazing. Yeah, okay. That does sound very good. I don't really have extra lands to put into play. I'm going to do it this way. Alright, let's put... That works. Let's put Land War Elf back. And... Forest, I guess. Forest first. Play this thing. Let's go this way. Put Forest into play. And we ditch this land war elf. Oh, darn it. I guess that happens. How are we doing on our, over here? 23 cards? We're 
just going for... We're going for Jace. Like our deck normally does. It's certainly possible I'm supposed to be attacking with these things. You never know, they just have... Yeah, they just have like a random settle. Bad negate. All right, we did it. Want to know? One and O. So it doesn't seem like we're a control deck, but yeah, we're basically a control deck. Just trying to get the game to go super long. And win with Jace. Oh man, yeah, that sleep. I guess I did have, I did have the Veil of Summer to counter sleep, but I wasn't keeping it up all the time. But yeah, random sleep to just tap my board and then attack me for lethal. That would have been bad. All right, well, not really loving this against Feather. Ooh, maybe it's not Feather. Nah, it's probably still Naya Feather. Risen Reef. Okay. Looks like it's Golos. Oh, I should have played this first. It's been a, little, been a minute since I played Omnath. I messed that up. Could have attacked for two. Or made Omnath a four power. But I like what our hand's looking like right now. Um... So I can only really do one thing. So like if I play Cavalier, I don't get to Risen Reef. If I play Risen Reef, I don't get to Cavalier. I think I Cavalier. Get that mana. Also get the large body. Well, if I would have gotten that extra counter last turn, we could have had lethal with a with drawing a land here. Yeah, would have had lethal if I would have gotten the extra. If I would have got that extra counter last turn. All right, let's wait a turn to River's Rebuke. I already played a land, right? Yeah, I did. the lands. We have 26 in here.
I couldn't kill Golos, because if I played another Omnath, we'd have to sacrifice one Omnath, so we'd only do four damage. So I couldn't actually kill Golos there. Um, I could have killed the other zombie and attacked with the other two creatures, but it wasn't lethal, so they weren't forced to block with Golos. Alright, that's game. So I didn't have a way to kill the Golos. Besides, I mean, obviously I could just I could have Rivers rebuked, but I wanted to save one more turn because them infinite Nexus chain from there is just so incredibly unlikely. You know, still having like forty eight cards or whatever they had in their deck, just wasn't going to happen. No, Omnath does not see both of them when counting the number of elementals. No, because whenever the trigger resolves, you only have the one Omnath in play. All right, so Disdainful Stroke, Blood Sun. I also like Veil of Summer here because they always bring in the Agent of Treacheries. But River's Rebuke does help against Agent of Treachery too, though. Kind of. For a little bit. I guess you get your thing back, but then they can play their Agent of Treachery again. We kind of have too much for this matchup. I don't know. Well, like, all these cards... Like, we don't have anything bad in this matchup. Or, like... I don't know if bad's the right word. We don't have anything to take out. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be taking out. I don't I don't know what to do. Um I don't know, I just clicked on some cards. Just kinda took one of different things out. I wish we could play, like, 75 here. Hey, what's up, Caesar? So I was going to be leading with the root bound to Crag turn one but now with breeding pool don't really need to do that So we'll see if Agent of Treachery gets us, and if so, if I need to bring in Veil of Summers. We do have the couple Disdainful Strokes, though. So I'm definitely playing Blood Sun here. The question is if I play Risen Reef or hold up Disdainful Stroke as well. Probably hold up Disdainful Stroke, right? She'll play Risen Reef. <laughs> played against Golos last night and sided, sided in two egos, but they got to their ego first and then took yours. That is kind of rough.
That's fine. I'm not playing the Tamiyo yet. Because we want to have two blockers for it. Or like, you don't want to be able to... Or like, I don't, I don't want the Masker Girl to be able to hit Tamiyo. Two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So I could go Cavalier, Risen Reef, Tamiyo. Okay, you know, Tamiyo, get back Risen Reef, play that, then play Cavalier. I could also have Tamiyo get back Disdainful Stroke and play Tam and play Cavalier and hold up Disdainful Stroke. I think that's what I want to do. Now your fields lose their abilities and lose their abilities. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should tick up on Tamiyo for a turn. Get rid of those two cards. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. What do I really want? Seek and find. Well, that's not bad. Got rid of three lands and a land war elf. I have become too involved with my work. That worked out pretty well. Cleared out a bunch of cards we don't want. All right. Two and zero. Like, oh yeah, we won game one. I was like ready to go to the next game and be like, all right, let's let's get the last game on the draw too, or like you know get the last sideboard game. I'm just so used to losing game one. What's up, Rex? Overall impression of the throne of Eldraine cards last night. There was new cards last night. I didn't know that. Or oh, you're just saying when, whenever we played Brawl last night. Um. Uh, yeah, you're saying you're saying whenever we played Brawl last night, it was it was fun. Definitely enjoyed it. For those, um, it's nice playing with a little bit, a little, a little less powerful decks than like your normal standard deck, and just the the variance of having all the one ofs and everything. Um, I feel like I'm going to be making a lot of food tokens. Food tokens are pretty cool. They're not quite as good as clue tokens. Gaining three life is not as good as drawing a card. Alright, we need to draw one blue source. Which, as you can probably guess with a, a deck having Jace and Cavalier, and blue Cavalier, we do have a lot of blue sources in the deck. So it's not outrageous keeping this hand, thinking that we can draw a blue source. Unfortunately, today is Flyer Day. Yeah, we need, to, we need more Tireless Tracker back in Standard. That card was awesome. All 
All right, so much for actually drawing a blue source. How much life is one card worth? Yay, blue source. Um, want to Omnath? No, probably supposed to start Risen Reefing. Could just get this Krasis for three out there, so they can't really attack. Nah, I'll just do this. Guess it's all depending on how much um, life you have to give and everything. Wow, the pirate counter. It says card advantage is everything, so as much life as I can pay. Oh, this is like actual mono blue. Right, right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, do we want to River's Rebuke or play Krasis for four? Yeah, like, life, basically, life gain is not nearly as valuable as a card. So if you're, so if the question is, like, how much life is a card worth, the, you don't have infinite life to pay kind of thing. So, you know, like, whenever you say, like, is, it, is a card worth losing four life or is it worth losing five life for a card, you know, that kind of stuff. It's, it's like, how much life do you really have to pay? But when you start talking about gain life or life gain, like, is, would you rather gain three or draw a card? Would you rather gain four or draw a card? Gain five or draw a card? It's like... That number could get kind of high. You'd probably rather have the card. Think about re uh, let's think about revitalize, which is gain three life, draw a card in white. Imagine if that just said draw two cards in white. That would probably be a card that would see a lot more play than it does. But the three life with a card isn't as valuable there. So they have one card left? Gosh, I want a Star of Extinction. But to do that, we have to shock. And if they counter it, it's certainly a problem for us. Do I have a better option? I mean, if I just Rivers Rebuke, they just sack the Storm Tamer. I don't really have a, a great option. This is basically like game or not game here. It's basically... Basically, their last card's a counter spell, and then it's looking really bad for us, or it's not, and it looks really good for us. Guess I should have done the one damage to them, but whatever. It doesn't matter if I target a tapped land or an untapped land at all. If I target if I target the untapped land, they just add mana, let the spell resolve, and then cast their trickster. It makes no difference what land you target. Not so far, just 
first time playing Rebuke, I've not been as impressed with Rebuke as Star of Extinction. I'd much rather have another Star of Extinction there. Like Star of Extinction would have been miles better than Rebuke was. So, and kind of the same thing against the other blue flyer deck. So, so far Rebuke hasn't looked great. With food tokens, you think Command of the Dreadhorde is going to be good still? Yeah, I can definitely see that. Won't play a really long game. Command of the Dreadhorde is the kind of card that can Are they win really long games. Or mine? <clears throat> Let's think this I was hoping Jace would get countered and Tamiya would resolve. They both resolved. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. No tail should be discarded. Yeah, that, that was the yep. Yep, you called the boot. That was my goal. Tammy to get Krasis. I, I led off with the Jace. Seeing if they would counter. If they had a counter to go with the trickster. Cool, cool. I have learned little here. Let's try this. Star of Extinction is so devastating. Momentary setback. It's just so devastating though to play the Leafkin Druid. Gosh, that card's awesome. So yeah, last time we played this, we played three extinctions. Uh, we were trying a rebuke instead of one of them, but I kind of wish we had that other one right now. But we'll see in the future. We could get saved by the rebuke. We'll see. It's certainly be a time that we only have six mana. What's up, Faves Belcher? Thanks for the resub. Yeah, our poor Jace. All right, time for the Veil of Summer. Take over Chandra's Uncounterable, which is kind of nice. Um, get rid of Rebuke for Chandra. We'll get rid of both Jaces. Yeah. We'll have to actually attack our opponent here. But yeah, I think the, the Planeswalkers are kind of what we want to get rid of. Yeah, Melody, the one-drop Curious Obsession creature is pretty nice. Agree there. How am I fitting Melody into this, though? I guess I have to cut a Star of Extinction. Yeah, I, I understand, Matthew. Yeah, I talked about that at the, at the intro, in the intro. Hey, Kilo.
All right, hopefully we can keep hitting a couple land drops, get this Cavalier of Thorns. Uh, get to be able to play it with an extra mana with the Veil of Summer. So definitely like the forest here. Besides that, more blue for Cavalier of Gales. Won't be bad. One more land. Mm. We need one more land. I know I could have tried Krasis for two, but they had two mana up. They counter Krasis for two. It really sets me back, so let's get this Leafkin in play. Guess I'm doing that now. I can't I can't play Cavalier Thorns without a veil. Trickster Krasis. Having like Krasis and Cavalier out and then Star of Extinctioning also really isn't that bad. Like, because it's another part about the deck. Like, blowing up your battlefield when you have Cavalier out is really not that bad because then Cavalier can put like the Krasis back on top and then, you know, you still get to cast it. Can recast another large Krasis. So we'll see if they have a dive down. To save Terry or not. No dive down. Ooh. Got the double counter. All right, they got the double counter. But we're still going to have a ton of mana for Leafkin now. Or sorry, for, for Krasis. So 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We'll make it 12. So that's 10. Grace is just unfair. Gets countered, you still draw five cards. Even when it gets countered. Four opponents. What are they supposed to do? Poor mono blue. Just trying to do its thing. And now there's all these Veil of Summers and uncounterable Planeswalkers and can't even cast Incense anymore. 
Poor Mono Blue. They really shut that deck down. All right, yeah, we're 3-0 over here and ranked. Deck's doing good. We just got some really powerful stuff. And yeah, Star of Extinction, whenever that happens, we've seen the power of Star of Extinction so far. I'm glad we haven't faced vampires. I want to face more of the... I want to face more like those Golos decks. I like that. I like that matchup. Let's play more Golos and your rock and stuff like that. Mm. Necrolepsy, what's up? Ah. Yeah, everything's going good here. How are you liking your new job? This was not the ideal matchup I know for not having lands. This might be a bad idea. See the tie? It is. I can see that. It's basically. It's not flowery. It's not flowers, but it's just a. Um, I guess that's, it's kind of flowery. It's very spring. It's a very spring heavy design. I've got time. It looks really nice. I like it. No time for a. I'm known for my excellent timing. I've got it. My opponent's just living. The Esper Dream over here. So they kept that card on top really fast. I've got them all figured out. I'm gonna have them mill it over. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Looks like it was a thought erasure. Um, yeah, I have a lot of ties. Probably oh, I've 70 or so. Thing Somewhere around there. Hurry! Oh, is there a hiss? A Genesis, you have to let me know if there's... Uh, no one I didn't know that there was a sound bug going on right now that we need to reset the client. I have, like, my sound on my end is, is kind of low, and I... Like with the music, I don't hear it, so I didn't know there was a sound bug going on. There is a lesson to be learned. Yeah, so I didn't know, so sorry. Hold that thought. No! I am not making this up as I go. Why are they not killing Paradise Druid? Just because of Omnath trigger? I guess. So I feel like Paradise Druid's more valuable.
Rebuke, why aren't you Star of Extinction? Don't worry, I got this. Hmm. Yeah, like bouncing these bell haunts and these. T uh. I'd love to have Star of Extinction. All right, so I think this card's kind of unplayable. This isn't a fight you can win. Trust me, I have a plan. Star of Extinction would be our best possible draw, and Urge Rebuke just doesn't do anything. Putting Bell Hans back into their hand and Othakaya back into their hand just doesn't work. Hey, we need to move quickly. That's all right, Matthew. It's all good. Sometimes the changes work out. Sometimes Here they don't. Basically just trying to dig for Star of Extinction before this Teferi ultimate. Because we're not going to actually do damage to them with these Krasises. If I attack with Omnath, we just get rid of one Bell Hunt. It's not worth the trade. Keep up the pace! Goes nothing. Come on, Star of Extinction. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to have to do damage with this Omnath over here. Time for plan B, as soon as I think of one. Well, they haven't really been doing very much. You need to take a time out. Guessing they have other Teferis in hand. Yep. Guessing that they have it. They just didn't really do anything that turn. And, and so, I'm not done yet. it's most likely they had lands and Teferis. Probably had both types of Teferis in there. Let's try this. Star of Extinction, where are you at? Okay, okay, okay. Keep you for later, or play you now? One, two, so then three, six, seven, eight.
No! Ooh, that was close. I need to do eight. Hooray! Best card. We're at 27 cards, they're at 29. Um, probably no putting Jace back on top with Star. Honestly, may put Star. Honestly, maybe just put Star back on top with Caval you know, with getting rid of Cavalier. That's more like it. Okay, well, they're just gonna kill it. So I have, do I have three Krasis in the graveyard? I do. All right, we'll get a Krasis back. It should resolve. Most Esper players aren't really playing counter spells. So it should resolve. They haven't really looked like interested in countering anything so far. Well, we are in trouble then. That is lethal. All I have to do is attack. Ugh. Let's take it back. All right, after this match, we're definitely taking Rivers Rebuke out of this deck. Definitely taking Rivers if you go. Still, for how far behind we were for like that whole game, and how great of a start my opponent had and everything, if that if they didn't have the Dovin's veto there at the end, pretty sure we win that. Yeah, we had such a bad start. Um. Veil of Summer is really tough because of Little Teferi. I do like this Chandra. I want to play them. We can get rid of the Rebuke. Um, and maybe get rid of the Paradise Druid. Or Cavalier of Gales. You know, if they have Narset in play, Cavalier Gales doesn't do anything. Narset's a real big problem for our deck, just in general. What do you think you'd rather have Veil than? Because I think we need to just try to get on the battlefield and get, get all this stuff. I don't really want to cut these things for Veil. Just had too many games like where Veil doesn't do... Um, doesn't do anything because of because of Teferi. All right, our one lander did not work out last time. Perfect. Hope our first draw steps will land. 
Darn it. Oh, what a terrible card to draw. Oh, that's like the worst card in our deck to draw right now. Oh, that's so bad. Because I was just expect. Oh, well, I was expecting Thought Erasure, because there's just always Thought Erasure. So that's what I was expecting, was Thought Erasure. Ugh. There's our Cavalier. Good job, Cavalier. I was definitely casting the Star of Extinction the next turn. When I keep the hand that's just only lands, I don't want to draw the spells before their Thought Erasures. Like, the, the point of keeping a hand like that is to blank these things, and those Thought Erasures were not blanked at all. They got you Cavalier and Star. Sorry, I'm late. Only they didn't have that second thought erasure. <laughs> I really wanted to cast that star that turn and blow up the godless shrine. Let's skip to the. It was gonna be good. Three lands in a row. Hold that thought. Probably shouldn't even play the land war off because it's going to get tyrant scorned. But I mean, I guess it keeps them from bouncing my cavalier thorns. I don't know, or they're just going to bounce the cavalier thorns anyway. Keep up the pace. Well, I would be willing to play this matchup. Certainly play it again. I think this is a pretty good matchup for us, but everything has gone right for our opponent. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well, they don't have lethal. Three and one, we get one more match. Hopefully we get paired against Esper again. All right, get River's Rebuke out of the deck. Don't want to see that card ever again. And Star of Extinction in here. Casting, Star, Star of Extinction is just so incredibly powerful. It's just, Oh, it's so good. Gotta play. Gotta play all those. Alright. Let me update the decklist commands.
I was willing to try River's Rebuke. Um, makes sense to be able to clear a full battlefield and be able to attack and everything there, but Star of Extinction is just the way to go. It's a reason why the deck's called Teamer Extinction and not Teamer Rebuke. It's a big reason there. Yeah, no, not not excited for Core to Fairy next summer. I really don't hope that the lines are just all about Teferi just saying the word time over and over again. Like that last match we heard Teferi say time, you know, like 38 times or something like that. It gets very tiring. Making some time reference. I mute my sound just because the fairy's voice track infuriates me. Elements. Can understand that. No, we whiffed. Oh, that's a bad whiff. Wanted to hit the green source, be able to play Leafkin Druid. They do have to chump with Paradise Druid here at least. That's a bad whiff. Yeah, this is the best Star of Extinction deck for us to face. Like, Star of Extinction against Nyssa is just so not fair. Like, they, they make all these lands into creatures, and we blow up all the creatures. And, like, if we draw if we draw Star of Extinction, our opponent's very dead. So that's what we need to find. So that's our goal. Let's look for extinction. Really glad we have three of them. We haven't found it yet. Correct, yeah. We win a lot of games by self-milling with this deck, and so that's why we have the two Jace. Yeah, I went Leafkin, Lana War Elf to have extra blockers over playing... Um, over just playing the Risen Reef.
I'm making that block. Making this block too. With them just having two lands. Let's stay at eleven. Behold, nature's true Make their life power. more miserable. Mana wise. I'm glad we did that. Thought that was Star of Extinction. No, my Star of Extinction! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then Leaf Kid Druid is seven. Oh, we'll still just throw this land where I'll elf out there to block. So yeah, we have... So perfect. We get to Tamio minus, grab Star of Extinction, play it. Perfect. Cause yeah, like look at look at their battlefield. Like Star of Extinction, Star of Extinction against Nissa, like activating on lands, is basically like you're, you're dead. So do they have a counter spell or not? If they don't have a counter spell, they're pretty dead. Wow, they're just doubling up here. All right, so do they have a counter spell? They, of course, they still have the blue mana. They can untap Hallowed Fountain, but they also have Breeding Pool as well. The land shall conquer you. All right, so we need a block three, four, four. Am I taking lethal? Oh no, I'm taking lethal, aren't I? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No. Uh. We're dead though. That would have been the best turn ever. We needed two more life. That's all we needed was two more life. Running back. This is Matthew's donation deck. It's a good one. Now our opponent's also playing a Teferi deck. I don't really want Veil of Summer against like just a couple Deputy of Detentions when they could have a Teferi in play again. And like they don't even really play very much removal. I want my deck to do its its game plan. I want it to be. I don't really want to water it down with like disdainful stroke or uh, veil of summer. I think this is too slow. Is it? I like this. I like our chances of just drawing two and three mana cards. 
like that. It's not like our opponent kills us immediately. But as far as their hands go, they do have a good one. Mana creature, mana creature. They can have turn three at Nyssa. Which would be not a sight I would like to see. I kind of want to kill the land war elf with Omnath. Now it's this. I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. All right, I'm I'm assuming they don't have spell peers. Get them. That's my assumption is they don't have spell peers. I think it's a pretty fair assumption. Anger only gets me so far. Man, see how great casting Star of Extinction is? Man, that card's so great. Alright, GG. Yeah, it's just and the animation's just awesome. It's such a feel feels good. This is like the one other card that I kind of want to put in the deck is Chandra. I'm going to take out one Jace for Chandra. They don't really have that many elementals. I, have, I haven't seen an elemental... Besides Risen Reef and Nissa lands. You know, against when they're playing like Deputy of Detention. And also just a slower game. Yeah, I need to get a, a Tezzera deck playing that one again, like next week sometime. Yeah, we gotta get that, gotta play a claw animation deck again before all these artifacts rotate out. But there could be a good amount of artifacts in the next set. Because we know that, well, I mean, we there's the Brawl Commander that deals with artifacts and enchantments, and I guess that doesn't necessarily mean that there has to be a lot of artifacts in the next Bolas, set. And I will survive you. Turn 3 Vivian is really, really strong. This I would will be say fun we are, to watch. We are in a really rough spot now. Hey Hercules. Is Risen Reef's dead? We're gonna tear you apart. Food tokens are artifacts. So that is something. Through this land, we are oh yeah, we, we always want the star. So should they play Nyssa? Yeah, we need Star of Extinction again. Rise, my elemental friend. Where are you at, Star of Extinction?
honestly, we maybe honestly we should probably have like a fourth star in the sideboard for this kind of matchup. I don't know. There's not there's not that many people playing Nissa decks around though right now. But star is just it's just game winning in this matchup. Of course they they al they always can have a counter spell though. The land fights for us. But if they don't, the game ends. My, my, how you've grown. So no counter spell. Ugh, no star. Star, where are you? Uh, I don't... I, we don't necessarily have one turn. If I go... The problem is if I go, like, Tamiyo, dig for it. It's possible they could kill us. How this... <laughs> I've seen worse. With just, like, creature removal. And then, then we die. We don't necessarily have the one turn. No low Q, I'm not... This will be fun to watch. Behold, nature's true power. I guess I didn't have a turn to wait. I guess I needed just to try to top deck store uh, star. I I didn't think about the Nissa ultimating. I didn't really consider Nissa ultimate. So like that was like my plan to do that. But I guess there's Nissa ultimate. We weren't going to have the star anyway though. Yeah, it wasn't in there for us anyway. You never know. Maybe they tick up Nissa and they don't mi minus 8 it. You never know. You picked the wrong fight. No one knows the wilds like I do. Well, that's kind of too bad that we have a card that just says seven mana, you win the game in our deck. We have three copies of it. And, you know, gone through, like, I guess, really, like, whenever we need it, we had gone through a little bit over a third of the deck. And, you know, we have three copies, and it just says you win the game, and we couldn't find it. So that's really disappointing. Anyway, what's up, Cheap Mage? Thank you so much for the resub. Three months now. The land will help us find a way. Thanks, Cheap Mage. Yeah, both both of the the two games that we lost, games one and three, both of them were just if we find Star of Extinction, we win the game. And, you know, we dug quite a ways and we couldn't find it in time. 
you know, like we needed two extra life game one, because then we were gonna have the Star of Extinction. And this game, you know, we saw about, probably about like 22, or like 20 cards or so. It's probably like those last like seven cards we didn't. So we saw about a third of the deck. Couldn't find one. So we're not completely dead if we draw a star here. No. Because we go to seven, the the land stay alive, so they could still attack us for six. So we'd go down to one, and then like the next turn, we'd have to be able to take out the rest. But no, we had one more draw. GGs. Okay, well, that was a disappointing end to a good five matches. Both of those matches that we lost, I think they were really heavy favorites, but, you know, we just couldn't find our, our card that says, I win. We couldn't find it in, in either match. We, You know, against the Esper deck, it got countered the one time, and, and then our hand was just really bad, and then, you know, we just flooded out really... You know, the second time, and so yeah, I could definitely see just you know, like there's honestly like our what that deck our opponents playing like you don't run into that kind of deck very often at all these days. But I am completely willing to play a fourth one of those instead of a Chandra. I'm I'm happy with doing that in the sideboard. Um, yeah, I think I think that's the first time I've ever lost to a Nissa deck with this deck. Um, you know, whenever we played before, the Nissa decks were always our easiest matchups because you just play a Star of Extinction, the game ends, and they don't really stop you from ramping. So all you have to do is just draw one of your three Star of Extinctions in, like, the top 30 of your deck. But two games, we didn't do it. So that happens. Um, but there we go. That's Teamer Extinction. Really saw the power of Star of Extinction here in this league. Uh, really, really cool card. But so uh, if you're questioning, if you're watching this, like if you're watching this deck for the first time and at the beginning of the video, if you're questioning, like, why would you want to just like play mana creatures and play other mid range creatures and then play Star of Extinction? Hopefully those games um, let you see how strong that card is, because after we cast it, because of the card advantage, the elementals give us and Krasis gives us and like the lands they get to put into play. Uh, we're all, we're basically always in a better spot than our opponent after we destroy one of their lands and clear the board. Um, but there we go. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe buttons over there, leave comments. Always like seeing all of that. But thanks for watching Teamer Extinction, and I'll see you for the next video.